It's that time of year again. You get an extra hour in bed or you lose an hour of sleep. Hey, I'm Frankie and in this video, we're talking about why we move the clocks forwards and backwards. Who came up with the idea and who decides if we keep doing it? I'm also talking time zones and how they keep changing for all sorts of reasons, how they're linked to cold play, air conditioning and golf. So when do the clocks change? Let's talk about the UK first. The clocks spring forward on the last Sunday in March, known as British Summertime. They then fall back on the last Sunday in October, known as Greenwich Mean Time. Over in the US though, British Summertime is known as Daylight Saving Time. That's because there's more daylight in the evenings and less in the mornings. So who came up with this crazy idea of moving the clocks forward and backwards? Well, many people think it was Benjamin Franklin, one of the founding fathers of the United States. He is said to come up with the idea back in 1784 when he was working in France as the first US ambassador. In a letter published to the Journal de Paris, he jokingly said that people needed to get up earlier to benefit from more sunlight. He said that the church bell should ring out and cannons should be fired to wake people up. He also thought if people got up earlier and saw more daylight, then we'd save on candles. <sighs> clever man. Very clever man. Then in 1895, this guy called George Hudson, who was a specialist in insect biology living in New Zealand, came up with the modern version of daylight saving. What he wanted to do was move the clocks forward by two hours in the summer, but he was mocked, and it's fair to say, that idea didn't fly. And then 10 years later, a British builder called William Willett, who was also the great-great-grandfather of Chris Martin from Coldplay, suggested the idea again. Mr. Willett loved to play golf. But he got very annoyed when the sun went down and his games were interrupted. He spent his life campaigning for the clocks to be moved forward. But the UK only bought it in in 1916, a year after he died. And then many years later, Coldplay released this song. they are definitely linked but it is a really cool fact. <laughs> Fast forward to World War One and that's when changing the clocks was realized on a grand scale. Germany was the first state to introduce this. That was to save coal during the war. Many others soon followed suits. <laughs> then in World War Two, the US made it mandatory for the whole country to use daylight saving. We must now act with the dispatch which the stern necessities of war Required. That was also to save on wartime resources. However, now states are allowed to do what they want. More than half the countries across the world don't do it anyway. Most of those are around the equator because the amount of daylight they have doesn't really change from season to season. And for those who do do it, many can't even decide when is the correct time to do it anyway. Some think having daylight saving is a good thing because it saves on energy and reduces traffic accidents. On the flip side though, some say it doesn't save on energy, it causes more accidents when children are going to school in the morning, it's dark and that can make it dangerous. Some studies have even linked it to heart attacks. So why do we do it? Studies suggest it's all down to the economy. Just think about it. When it's light outside and you finish school or work, you go out to the shops, the bars, the restaurants, and you spend money instead of when it's dark and you just want to rush home, get on the sofa, put a film on, snuggle up and go to sleep. Let's talk time zones. In total, there are 38 time zones, some 30 to 45 minutes apart. And they've got abbreviations. Russia has 11 time zones. The US and Canada have six standard times and Australia, five. Then you have China, which is the third largest country in the world and only has one time zone, officially known as Beijing time. There are parts that have their own unofficial time, but officially it's China standard time all year round, no clock changes. Every time zone is measured from the Greenwich Meridian, GMT, based right here in London where me and Phoebe are. 
That's because the US and a lot of the shipping industry were already using GMT as a point of reference. So this big international conference on time zones decided they may as well keep it that way. GMT shares the same time as coordinated universal time. However, they do often get confused. GMT is a time zone and it's used only during certain times of the year in the UK. UTC is the basis for time zones worldwide. No one uses it as a local time. Have you got all that? Now I'm going to make it a little bit more complicated. Times and time zones have changed over the years for many different reasons. Until the mid-19th century, different towns and cities across the UK were using their own different time, and that was according to the sun. But with the expansion of communications, and especially the railways, we all had to get onto one single time. Just to give you an exaggerated example, imagine if you were going on the train and you got on in one city and it was 1pm, you travelled for three hours, you got off and it was still 1pm. Oh my God! So, the railway networks introduced a single standard time across their networks, which was mainly GMT, that soon became standard for the rest of the UK. Let's hop across the pond to Brazil. They've used summer saving time since the 1930s to try and save on electricity, but the country noticed that the peak electricity usage wasn't in the evenings anymore when people were turning on their lights. It was actually going to the daytime in the middle of the afternoon when people were turning on their aircon. So they've been talking about getting rid of this changing of the clocks altogether. No decision has been made yet. Hop back across the pond to Europe where the European Commission surveyed four and a half million EU citizens. It found most don't like the clocks being changed forward and backwards. So things could change there too. North Korea changed time zone altogether for political reasons. You'd think the country would be on the same time zone as the South. But North Korea used to be half an hour behind South Korea as a stand against what it described as wicked Japanese imperialists after its hours were changed to match Tokyo's when the Korean Peninsula was under Japan's rule. After talks though between the countries, South Korea's presidency sent a tweet saying Mr Kim was so distressed by seeing the clocks out of sync, he changed it. In 2011, the West Bank and Gaza Strip observed different local times for a whole month because the Hamas-led Gaza Strip decided to ignore the Palestinians' authorities' daylight saving times directives, adding to tension and creating a fair bit of confusion. So there you have it. <laughs> There's some politics, some history, some good music and some air conditioning. Just to quickly sum up some of the main points, because I know that was a lot of information. A lot of people believe it was Benjamin Franklin who was the first person to come up with the idea of moving the clocks forward and backwards. And not all countries move their clocks forwards and backwards, like China. And some countries in Europe, as well as Brazil, might stop changing their clocks altogether. Countries' time zones have changed over the years, most recently North Korea, which was a political move. And in total, there are 38 time zones. How many can you name? And that is just a snapshot of the world. So there's lots of research and more information below.